Hi, hi. Welcome to our monthly Facebook Live. We're back at it. <laughs> We're so excited. So we are going to address your questions mm -hmm. and then talk about what's next, latest and greatest for Minted. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's dive in. Okay. So we received a question from Melody Views on mm -hmm. Facebook asking, do you have foundation? Well, Melody, do you want to take this one? Sure. Um, we currently don't have foundation, but we are working on it, and uh, while we can't tell you when or where or how, just be on the lookout because it <laughs> is coming. We know that for our women of color, finding a good foundation can be so difficult, and we're yeah. all out here mixing like two and three different shades together trying to make it work, but fear not. We have y'all, so <laughs> it's, coming. it's coming. Yeah. yeah. Want the next question? Sure. Uh, okay. How do the lip glosses smell, or does it have a scent? Good question. Good question. Well, we get a lot. Yeah. Um, so we've changed kind of what we're doing here. Our lip gloss, our lipsticks have this kind of great, light, sweet smell that really just like masks the chemicals, which is nice. Um, and our lip glosses will soon have the same scent. Yes. And to be clear, our lipsticks are non-toxic, so it's not like super chemically. It's just it's nice to put in a nice little scent. So it's a little hint of vanilla and uh, coming soon to the glosses. Um, but they do taste a little sweet, which is a little yeah. bonus if you lick your lips. It's like, mmm, dessert. Okay. <laughs> a big drink, baby. Yeah, um, um, okay. Another Facebook question. Janine wants to know, I need help finding my nude. Is there a chart? Another good question. Yeah. Do you want to take it? So um, is there a chart? Well, we do have a great page on our website called uh, The Collection, and it'll show you women of, I think, four different hues wearing our entire lipstick collection, which is really helpful. We also have a video gallery on the site, which shows just a bunch of different women of every different hue trying on the shades, uh, which is helpful. And also, Amanda and I recently made a video for our first Minted 101 called How to Find Your Perfect Nude and where we tell you how to do it. Um, and so we always say start with your lips um, as your guide and also your skin tone as your guide. Um, but we have a really fantastic exchange program. So even if you get it wrong on your first try, um, you can exchange it because we want everyone to find their perfect nude. Yeah, and actually that's a great plug. If you want to watch minted videos on how we do all the things we do, you can follow us on YouTube. We also have a video gallery on our site, so you can watch all the videos that we produce as well as our influencers. We also have a blog, The Mint, that has a lot of great videos on it. So if you're looking for beauty content from Minted, we've got it. We got you. Mm -hmm. um, okay, next question is what made you decide to do this? Um, and I just want to shout out Compassion MD on Instagram because you came hard with the questions, yes. girl. You got a lot of them, and we're excited to answer them. So. You better be asking multiple yes. questions out here. Yes. <laughs> Get your money's worth from this Facebook Live. <laughs> um, so what made us decide to do this? Uh, we were two professional women mm -hmm. looking for a great everyday beauty routine. Mm -hmm. We had a disposable income. We had a passion for beauty. And we just felt like there wasn't a brand out there truly addressing our need. Yeah. And, you know, I think that's the great startup story, which is you create a business based on your own need. Mm -hmm. And we knew what was missing. And so we said, we'll create it. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, one of the best parts of being an entrepreneur is getting to address problems you have that you feel like no one else is addressing. And that's certainly been our experience. We just felt like, why shouldn't there be a premium beauty brand speaking to women of color and speaking to our everyday beauty needs? So not trying to give us all of the sparkles, all of the trends, all of the holograms, all of the unicorns, all of which are great, but really just trying to speak to like, what do we need every day when we go to work, when we go to coffee, when we go out with our girlfriends, all of those things. And we felt like it didn't exist, and so we decided to make it, and um, it's just been such an amazing ride. Yeah, uh, and I just want to say shout out to the people who joined us live. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comment section, and we'll just keep answering the questions we already have. Yeah. Um, okay, here's another question. How did you come up with the name? <laughs> I love this question because I just remember all the 
names <laughs> we went through. Um, a lot of names. A lot of names. We have a sheet. It's it, That sheet still exists somewhere of all, yeah. all the names we went through. And eventually we landed on Tinted, okay? T-I-N-T-E-D, like, like a tinted moisturizer. And we were like, we didn't know if we loved it, but we liked it enough. Yeah. And so that's what we were sort of saying for a couple of weeks when we would meet and get together and make our lipsticks. And then I remember one day, I think I was like to Amanda, I was like, so this tinted thing, what if, you know, how we always talk about how we wanted to be fully pigmented? Like, what if instead of tinted, it was minted? And immediately Amanda was like, that's it. That's the name. <laughs> Change everything. And I think, for, I think it just... It just clicked, like, yes, yeah, short for pigmented. Yeah. Right? And, like, that's what we care about is, like, creating fully pigmented shades that enhance a woman of color's beauty. Yeah. It right away made sense. Yeah. And I think it's it's this cute little kind of insider story thing now, too. Like, I see people, many of you at the pop-ups, and one of your friends will be like, well, what does Minted stand for? And you're like, girl, it stands for pigmented. Like, you know, you get it. You get the inside you story. You know the bad story <laughs> out here. Yes. We love that. Um, okay. Okay. So the next question, also from Compassion MD, okay, girl, is uh, what is your background? I assume she means that. Yes, on oh. our background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'll jump in. So I started my career in investment banking, doing finance, which is yeah. totally different than what I do now. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> interesting structuring derivatives. <laughs> Obviously, I left after a couple of years. Then I went into consumer marketing at um, Tiny for uh, for magazines and worked on acquisition and retention marketing. Fell in love. Um, then went to Harvard Business School where I met this one and fell in love again. Mm -hmm. And then post business school worked at Barney's in digital business development. Mm -hmm. And so my background is all retail. I was a buyer for four years. I bought fashion jewelry for Sears and Kmart. Then I moved to New York and bought women's apparel for drjays.com. Shout out Jays. Um, then I went to HBS where I met Amanda. And then post HBS, I was a consultant for two years um, doing retail consulting. So I've just sort of been all retail all the time. And it's really exciting to get to see it from this side of things, from a brand's perspective, as opposed to from a store's perspective. Um, but I've always been focused on consumers and products because that's what I love. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Janelle Lloyd. So awesome. I love all six of my shades. You better have six shades. <laughs> yes. Amen. You better have a collection. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out your favorite, and we'll tell you also what we're wearing. Um, so I'm wearing Minted Number no. 5, which is a cult classic. <laughs> You're a cult classic. Um, and I'm wearing our gloss Send Nudes. Mm -hmm. From the new gloss collection. I don't know if you guys have checked it out. You have um, to. Totally try it. Let us know what you love. You have to. Um, oh, yes. Uh, will this be a complete makeup line? Good question. We get it all the time. We get it all the time, and the answer is yes. So we have always said Minted is meant to be a home for beauty for women of color. So when we think of home, we think of the place you always go back to. And you can't have a home without having a full makeup line of all of the essentials. So, yes, we will be in lips, eyes, cheeks, face, all of it and one day if you so choose you can do your entire face in minted but by the way you don't have to we know women like to mix and match their brands and we're not trying to discourage that but we do want you to have the very best of every product category and we are committed to giving that to you yeah and we love hearing from you guys on what you want so let us know on every comment email we know you guys are doing it already anyway but tell us what you want and what you need um so we can you know hear from our community yeah Grow together. Uh -oh. Questions on my Okay. Um, did you do crowdsourcing to get started? Oh, good question. Mm -hmm. No, we did not. We didn't. There are great platforms out there, though, for yes. other people who it is a way to finance your business and get some, you know, kind of investor feedback from the community that mm -hmm. your product or brand will eventually serve. Um, but no, we did not do that. We went a different route. We went a different route, yeah. And I think um, the thing about crowdsourcing, the great thing about it, is you get feedback from your community up front really before you launch. The tough thing about it for us was we were both still working at our jobs full time when we had the idea permitted and when we started working on it. And you can't really successfully do a crowdfunding campaign publicly 
unless you can do it publicly, right? You can't, right. Have, you can't in secret do a crowdfunding <laughs> campaign. Um, so I think we needed to sort of be in stealth mode for a while uh, because we did still have full-time jobs. And I encourage anyone who has a dream and is still working full-time, you absolutely can yes. work on your side hustle because we did for yeah. a year. So. Yeah, and it can become a reality. Uh, okay, so let's do some real live comments. Yolanda Wallace just received my first order. Love my gloss collection oh, and my two lipsticks. Can't wait to get all the lipsticks. I've told all my family friends about your product. Yay, yes. Minted! Yes. Thank, you, Thank you, Yolanda. That's amazing. So sweet. You're going to love all the lipsticks. Yeah. Um, glad you're loving the gloss. Yeah. Um, Tracy Carter, how do I order and how soon can I get it? Would you like to answer that one? Sure. So um, you order on mintedcosmetics.com. Um, you know, just head straight to the shop button and fill up your cart till your heart's content. And typically our orders all ship out within two business days and then they ship USPS first class. So it kind of just depends on how far away you are from our warehouse in New Jersey. If you're on the East Coast, it might take a day. If you're on the West Coast, it might take more like two to three. Um, but most people get their orders pretty quickly. Yeah, and if you're going to the website to check out, this is a great plug for our holiday collection. Yes. Um, so not only check out all of our lip shades and lip glosses, but also the really beautiful holiday collection we have out. If you go to that same shop button and click holiday collection, you'll see the fabulous packaging. Mm -hmm. um, and that is what you'll absolutely want to share with friends and family and then gift to yourself. Yes, it's so cute. We were at a party last night and the host handed out our nail polish collection, but like in the holiday packaging, which for some reason I had seen it, but I guess I forgot what it looked like. Anyway, I opened up the gift bag and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> like As we, if we like had to we had, it. Yeah, like we had to design it, but it is so cute. Shout out to Winnie, yes. our art director, um, this gorgeous it. black woman who does graphic design for us. She is amazing yes. and uh, kills it every time. Every time. More comments. Elsie Hayes, mm -hmm. hopefully I'm saying right. I'm going to try minted lip gloss, nice shades of color. Well, thank, thank you, Elsie. You. I'm sweet. wearing Singe Nudes, and it is my current favorite. I switch. Yeah, currently. This like every favorite. other week, yeah. this is black switching for you. Um, sweet Black 81 on Instagram okay. says, Sweet Black, <laughs> will you guys eventually do liquid lipsticks? Mm. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. You know, I will say never say never. I think it's not um, like a current top priority for us just because we're both in love with our formula of our lipsticks, which are semi-matte, which, and they're highly moisturizing. And we love that. We love that you don't need to pair it with a balm or a gloss, like you can just wear it one and done. Um, and sometimes with liquid lipsticks, because most of them dry down to a matte, it can like feel like it's cracking a bit or, or, or you know, can, can start to feel drying. And that's not every liquid lipstick, of course. Um, that said, I absolutely think, you know, we're open and we love getting feedback from our customers. So I think if, you know, we get enough feedback and enough requests, absolutely, there's a world in which we would do a liquid lipstick line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll take this question. Sure. M says, I love your colors. How hard was it for you to find a chemist to work with? Well, thank you for the compliment. Yeah. We love that you love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to talk about it? You work with the chemist a lot. Sure. Um, so, uh, fun fact, in the beginning, we did not work with the chemists. In fact, <laughs> we were the chemists. Yes. Um, we created every single one of our shades from scratch, me and Amanda. You're, you're looking at the chemist team. Um, and, <laughs> and, and that's because when we first started out, you know, when we would talk to manufacturers, they didn't really get it. They were sort of like, oh, we have nudes. So, you want some pinks, you want some beiges. And we were like, and no. That's not what we're doing here. And so we taught ourselves how to make lipstick and we created every shade by hand. Once we had our shades is when we went back, found a manufacturer to develop the final formula because of course what we were creating were beautiful shades but not stable formulas because we're not actually chemists. <laughs> um, and that process of finding a manufacturer and a lab to work with um, it was just a lot of due diligence. It was getting on phone calls, doing emails, visiting them, and figuring out who could do the work that we needed done and, and who could really see our vision. Um, so yeah, it was just, you know, legwork. Yeah. Well, those are some of the questions so far. I have a question for you, KJ, okay. always. Mm -hmm. Curveball question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> from the holiday packaging, what is the gift you think you're gonna get the most from the Minted Collection? Oh, the gloss, for sure. <laughs> you're like, yeah, that's it, the, the gloss. gloss. I mean, I just have found 
Every single person who has tried the gloss collection has at least one shade that they love. And most people tell me the other ones, like they, they like them. Like some of them are like, I love all four, I wear all four. But most people fall deeply in love with at least one. And then the other three, they sort of like switch out, like on, you know, when they're feeling more berry or when they're feeling more <laughs> brown. Um, so I think it's just the best gift. Because I mean, yeah. it's, it, it, there's something for everyone. It's a great gift. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Um, I will be giving the nail collection. It is so cute. It's, so cute. it's the perfect stocking stuffer. Yeah. Um, you get, you know, three all three shades in this cute little packaging. I have so many younger cousins and, you know, starting to get of age kind of nieces that need great, you know, little beauty things. It's kind of like their first yeah. makeup things. And the nail polish is great because it's also seven free. Yes. So it's really free of all the no gross nasty. toxic stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. None of the bad stuff, all the good stuff. Um, they have a range of colors, stuff that they can wear to school. So if you have kids or younger cousins That's and you're so looking true. for cute little stocking stuffers, I say the nail trio. And yeah. it's only $15. So you can grab a couple of those mm -hmm. and then you're set for the holidays. Yeah, but we will sell out. So. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> you you yeah. should order now so you can get the holiday packaging because it is yeah. going, going, going. Yeah, that's true. Um, Bangala Holmes, mm -hmm. will so, you offer matte colors in the future? Yeah. A question, question we get a lot. Yeah, it's a question and similar to the liquid lipstick question. Yeah, again, never say never. Yeah. I think. In the beginning, we both were very anti-matte mm -hmm. because we don't wear it yeah. and, and, and we don't love it. I think I am starting to see more, more, you know, the benefit of a matte. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, we're getting there. Yeah, I think we're slowly getting there. Yeah. So yeah, never say never. I just think we're, we both are obsessed with like lip health yeah. and yeah. moisturization yeah. and we love how moisturizing <laughs> our products are so when we think about putting on a mat we're like oh now what's that gonna feel like right mm. but you know yeah i think the other thing too is we're really just focused on making those like great classic products you're going to use the rest of your life yeah and so our like first kind of two years of product rollout is about creating that stable collection yeah. those staples you're just going to use them all the time totally. from now till infinity and so we'll layer on as we go but oh, like yeah. we want to hear from you guys what do you want what's next what does a beauty company that puts you first what do they need to produce so totally. we'd love to hear from you guys and we do get a lot of requests for men oh okay. it might be coming sooner than even we think yeah <laughs> you should get on the mailing list because people on our email list know first they know everything mm -hmm. and then tell all your friends yeah. um but that would be Step one into being in the know. Mm -hmm. um, so Bangla also says, I just got Dark Knight and Sin News, which yes, is what you Sin have News. on. Uh, post some pictures on Instagram. Be sure to tag us. We love to repost yes. people in our community. So we'd love to see what you look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Lithonia, I love your product. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> That's so nice. That's so nice. Um, yes, Perfect. so we'll look into that. You yeah, no. options, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're loving yeah. the questions in the comments yeah. today. That's great, guys. Nice. Yeah. Um, thank you. Yes. Post some pics. Yes. yes. Appreciate yes. it. Um, so I have a question for you. Okay. Um, okay. Thinking about November, which was a fairly crazy month for yes. us, what was your, like, favorite moment in November and what was your least favorite moment in November? <laughs> or if you want to expand beyond November, feel free. Yeah. But November was just like particularly hectic. So November had so much. There's so much happening. I would say um ooh. okay, a moment in November that I loved. So this was, as you know, we just launched January of this year. So this is our first holiday season, our first time doing Black Friday, Cyber Monday, yeah. all the things. Um so waking up this this time of the day was like both my favorite and the worst. <laughs> Waking up on Friday morning to KJ calling me <laughs> and yep. being like, the site isn't adding the gift with purchase to every order. So we know so many of you um, with, are on our website on Friday mm -hmm. ordering. You got the free berry me with your purchase or you were supposed to, but it didn't automatically add to every order. And it was like, Oh my God, what is happening? So of course we manually fixed everyone's order. And if you were supposed to get a free bury me, you got a free bury me. But it was like a panic to wake up to that and like know that that wasn't working. But also a great moment because we saw sales 
And we were like, oh my God, people are actually buying minted on Black Friday and like we're a consideration and like you guys love the offer and like, so that was all just great slash panic. What about you? Really? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm in the exact same boat. Just, I do, when I woke up, I always wake up before Amanda because yeah. I'm a morning person and she's a night person. Yeah. <laughs> so I was up early and I just remember looking at in my phone and looking at the orders and being like, <laughs> like, oh my God, like we weren't, and we weren't ex expecting it to explode sort of the way it did. And yeah. that was just like such a good feeling because we worked so hard on like yeah. offering a great offer and, you know, we had no idea what people would do for Black Friday. So that was a great moment. I think, yeah, the low sort of moment for me was this scare we went through last week thinking we wouldn't have enough inventory for all of the orders that were placed and just scrambling to get every product we had in this office, in the warehouse, at Amanda's house, <laughs> to our warehouse so that we could ship it out. It, and it, it turned out not to be an emergency. There was some miscommunication, but I mean, it just, my heart sunk because like, obviously we want every single customer to have a good experience yeah. from beginning to end, from ordering on the site, yeah. to dealing with customer service, to getting it shipped to them, the whole thing. Like we think so much about that and, and work yeah. so hard to make that a, a great experience. Yeah. And just the thought that some people would have a less than great experience just like broke my heart. So yeah, I'm happy we got through it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we care so much guys, we really do. <laughs> like, yeah. It is not a, passing comment like we really care and we panic and stress but then we're also super excited and we love to hear your comments and so it's just like a bag of emotion totally. Totally. um i want to shout out some of these comments starting here with the mm -hmm. toes um bangala i am wearing the darker nail polish shade on my toes now yes brown and bougie um alicia says love 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 all the shades okay girl uh bangala then says Ladies, get the polish. Brown and bougie is all that. I agree. <laughs> and my personal favorite is Yes We Tan. You guys can see that. Can you see? Can you see? Okay, probably you can. <laughs> um, yes We Tan is my perennial favorite. Um, and Blank Bangala also says, I bought during the sale. I love a discount. LOL. Girl, <laughs> who doesn't love a discount? We all love a discount. Okay. Yes. Um, Courtney says, Did you say that you have an exchange program? Good. Why, yes, we yes. did. <laughs> um, so we do have an exchange program and the way it works is you have an option to either send your products back to us and uh, whatever you don't like and then we ship to you whatever you want um, exchanged or um, assuming it's three products or less you can just pay the shipping fee keep the stuff that you didn't like and give it to like a friend or your mom or whomever um, and then we'll ship you we'll ship you what you want. So mm -hmm. I think it's a pretty it's nice a, exchange program. Yeah. Most people end up just uh, opting to keep what they originally ordered and just pay shipping to get the next thing. Yeah. Um, and look, it's a risky exchange policy for us because there could be people just sort of abusing the system and like first ordering three shades, loving them, and then being like, mm, I don't like them. Right. I want to get three new ones. But in fact, they gonna wear all six of them shades. <laughs> Um, so it's a risky one, but the, at the end of the day, I think our customer service policy is like, look, trust your customer. Yeah. And we do. And for every one person who might have used the system, there are going to be a hundred girls who are just going to be so grateful yeah. to have a company that just wants them to find the right product. And that's what we want. So we'd rather take that risk and take that hit and make sure that you are happy at the, at the other end of that. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the policy. Yeah. So we think it's it's fairly risk free to try minted. Absolutely, and tell your tell your friends. Yeah. So if you have friends or family members that are like, "Ooh, I'm kind of nervous to buy online," tell them about Minted's Great Exchange Program because more than anything, we want you to try the product. So yeah. we'll do what it, what we have to do. Totes. Yes. Oh, thank you. Custom oh, so we should read what she yes. said. <laughs> says customer services, everything. I haven't had a problem. That makes me so happy to hear. Uh, one of my hats I wear is running customer service and who Bangla girl. <laughs> we be trying. So um yeah, it just that warms my heart. Yeah. And if you ever need to reach us, you can email us at hello at mintedcosmetics.com. Yes. You can DM us on Instagram, message us on Facebook, post a comment, tweet mm -hmm. us <laughs> across every platform. We promise. Send up a flare. 
we respond to your YouTube comments, yes. like across the board. We want to hear from you guys and we absolutely always answer. Yeah. Totally. Um, what colors are y'all wearing now? Hmm. So I'm wearing our gloss shade Sin Nudes. And I'm wearing a lipstick shade Minted Number no. 5. Mm -hmm. So you see, versatility, yes. lots of nudes. Uh, Daniel, Danielle says, yeah. I'm in. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and Lorraine says, nice policy. Do you have gloss? We do. Yeah. And I'm wearing one of our four shades. We have a tan, which is Sin Nudes, a nice light pink mauve over, a berry shade called Bury Me, mm -hmm. and a nice chocolatey brown called Baby Brown. Yes. So try the gloss. Two. I love mint number five. Who doesn't? It is mint number you, five. Is it? Cult classic. Let's go ahead and just call it. What it is. <laughs> I feel like calling it a cult classic makes it seem like it's like a hidden shade that only certain people know about. Oh, like the what's that menu at that fast food place? Yes, like the um, In and Out. Yes, yes. Secret menu. Is that what cult classic means? I thought it was the thing people know about, but it's like people in that world want it. Okay. I mean, okay. Maybe I'm confused about what, when you said call classic, I was like, girl, how is it called classic? Everybody knows minted number five. Like, top shade. It's a great shade. It's a minted classic. How about that? It's a, it's a great, top shade. It's a great shade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that, that's what started my love affair. Yes. yes. Dope taupe and minted number five is what started our love affair. Literally the first two shades we created. So yeah. Well, well the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Bangla um, girl, we are loving yes, you. Yes, Bangla. Yeah. And Courtney says, looking forward to trying minted in the near future. Yes. Uh, and we are looking forward to you trying. And we think the holidays is a perfect time to try. Absolutely. Um, well, head it over to minted now. Yes. Thank you, Yolanda. Yes, the gloss collection is awesome. No one will be disappointed. Thanks again. Thank you. Um, and when is the next sale? So if you sign up for our email list, you'll be the first to know about every single promotion. Every single one. Um, I need a mint number five nail polish. Oh. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, you better be out here. I think that would be a really pretty shade. What if we did a nail polish collection that matched the lipsticks? That's nice. But maybe like the top three. Yeah. Mint number five, Doto, New La La. That could be a nice little trio. Girl. Girl, that's a good one. <laughs> you done changed the game, girl. <laughs> you done changed the game. Oh, my God. It's Erica. Erica. Hi. Hey, girl. What's she talking about? Are you guys going to do eyeshadow and blush? I always struggle with knowing which shades look best on me. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. Oh, thank you, Erica. So Erica is one of our interns. Um, it's very good to see you here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, we are going to do eyeshadow. Um, if you guys can tell, I love eyeshadow. Can you see a pink candy? Okay. Well, it's kind of a weird eye thing happening, but we get it. We get, get it. it. Um, no, we, we absolutely are doing eyeshadow. And interestingly, so we did some surveys and some focus groups, and what we heard from so many of you is that you want to wear eyeshadow, but a lot of you aren't really sure how, or you feel like, oh, I don't have time because like you have to do all this blending and blah, blah, blah. Right. Or it's like every time I buy an eyeshadow palette, two of the shades show up right. and then the other six just sit there meaninglessly. Um, that's sort of what we heard from a lot of you. And so our eyeshadow palette is meant to solve those problems. We are doing a gorgeous nude palette um, that is going to have shades, every single shade you will be able to yeah. wear and will look good on you. I may or may not be previewing some of the shades now. And I think that what's so important and what's going to be so exciting about it is that we're also going to educate yes. while we launch on just some of the different looks you could do. And, and it's easy. You don't have to put on four different eyeshadow colors, you know, to like get a great look and just sort of amp up your look of it. So we are really pumped about yeah. eyeshadow. <laughs> and I have hooded eyes, so you can't really always see, but I do love the idea of wearing eyeshadow. So that's something else we're going to tell you girls about, like how to wear eyeshadow. If you have great surface area, like KJ, you can see, or not a lot of great surface area, like me, where my eyes always look like they're closed. We're going to let you know how to do it, and I'll take KJ out. I just feel like I've never been described, had my face described as great surface area. Yeah, but that's what it is. That's yes. great surface area. Yes, surface area. I have a negative surface area. But see, when you blink, <laughs> that's when the drama comes through, when you blink. Um, you've got to blink longer. Yeah, give them a long blink. Yeah. Did you see it? 
<laughs> um, okay. And Bengala says, blessing on your business. May you have success beyond anything you can imagine. Love your energy. Yes, do it. Thank you. Great ideas. Yes. Um, great idea. Yeah. Well, we've had a blast, guys. Yeah, this has been so fun. Yeah. Uh, we do our Facebook Lives once a month. Mm -hmm. We start promoting the week before on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and gather all your questions. So you'll know when we're doing this in January. Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll send everything out, and we hope you join us next time. Yes. See you next time. See ya.